is Darren Hill. Darren resides in Cataraugus, New York, with his wife Katie and their four children, Blake, Garrett, Avery, and Chase. They're partners at Hills Valley Farm with Darren's par parents, Richard and Donna. They currently have 150 registered Brown Swiss and Holsteins and have bred or owned more than 40 All-American nominations in the Brown Swiss breed. Most notably, the intermediate champion of the 2011 World Dairy Expo and the reserve junior champion in 2017. Darren was a member of the national champion 4-H, post-secondary, and intercollegiate jerry judging teams. He earned high individual honors in the post-secondary contest for Sonny Morrisville in 2001. He was fourth overall in the intercollegiate contest for Cornell University in 2003. Darren has judged the Wisconsin State Brown Swiss Show, Kentucky State Fair, Ohio State Fair Junior Show, Florida State Fair, Pennsylvania Farm Show, New York State Fair Junior Show, as well as many other county and district shows in the Northeast. In 2019, Darren and Katie were selected as the outstanding young breeders by the National Brown Swiss Association. He served on the National Brown Swiss Committee uh, since the 2014. Our pleasure to have Darren Hill placing our Brown Swiss cattle in our junior show. Over on the Guernsey side, we're pleased to have Caleb Cruz from Dyersville, Iowa. Caleb is part owner of KCCK Genetics with his two younger brothers, Cole and Carter Cruz. They raise and show all seven breeds at the local, state, and national levels. Caleb attended Kuskowski, or Kuskowski College and received four associates and applied science degrees before transferring to the University of Minnesota, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in animal science. In addition, Caleb was active in dairy judging when he was a member of the second place team at Harrisburg, second place team at the World Dairy Expo, and first place team at the North American International Livestock Exposition for Kaskowski College. In addition, he was a member of the second place team at Harrisburg, third place team at the World Dairy Expo, and first place team at the North American International Livestock Exposition for the University of Minnesota. Additionally, Caleb is the coach for the Delaware County 4-H team. In addition, Caleb has judged several local, district, and state shows. He was the associate judge at the 2020 National Irisher Show in Louisville and judged the 2021 National Irisher Junior Show at the North American. Caleb was the 2019 Merle Howard Award winner at the World Dairy Expo and currently works for cowbuyer.com and Innovative Ag as an agronomy sales advisor. Our pleasure to have Caleb Cruz placing our Guernsey show. Placings in the junior Guernsey show, milk and yearly class first and first utter is entry number two, NAPS GP VG AP Twist and Shout ETV, exhibited by Maggie, Daniel, and Trey Fix of Belleville, Illinois. And second and second under is entry number one, Sonny Noel Jagger Lavender, exhibited by Valerie Greenleaf of Lovettsville, Virginia. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What a tremendous way for us to start this class off with uh, this amazing class of milk and yearlings. In the first place, Cal just wins this class relatively handily for me. First size and scale, a cow that's just got so much stretch to the midsection of her body. She's so much taller at that point of withers. In addition, she's just more refined all the way through. She's cleaner in that head and neck. She's sharper over the point of withers, less patchy in the pins and more in curving the thigh. I do give our first place cow uh, the advantage in her udder having a higher and a wider rear udder attachment but this small or the all red cow coming out in second a uh, uh cow that you just love the width and power and strength she possesses i just like to make her sharper more angular all the way through to get around our first place cow but two really nice milk and yearlings give those exhibitors a round of applause when they exit the ring
Placing first in the yearling and milk class in the Junior Brown Swiss show is entry number two. That's Shallow F. Martini Honey, exhibited by Adelaide Biasi, or Biasini of Mooresville, Vermont. And second and second utter is entry number one, Foster's Patrick Casey, exhibited by Lauren and Madison Hibsherman of Syracuse, Indiana. Pleasure to be with you here this morning in Louisville. What a class to start off with the Brown Swiss show. An outstanding young cow coming out in first. A cow that has so much style, balance, so much fullness to their rear rib as we see her today. It's that fullness and balance of that rear rib section that carries her over the taller, longer framed heifer coming out in second. The young cow in second places over the cow in third. Just more fullness to that rear udder. A little more uh, strength to that top of the rear udder attachment. This Third place cow coming out. I, I do admire the cleanliness about her head and neck. Just like to see more milk in that rear udder today. Congratulations. Current exhibitors, we need entries number nine and ten. Entries nine and ten to the show ring, please. Placing third in the yearling and milk class in the Junior Brown Swiss show is entry number three, Alpine Hills Seaman Peach Twin, exhibited by Caleb Blips of Shelbyville. Congratulations. We're pleased to have with us today some of the officials of the American Guernsey Show. Our executive director is Robert Alden or Alden. The media magazine rep is coverage by Dairy Agenda Today. Queen is Reagan Kimey of Iowa. Princess, uh, Princess is Whitney Yenna of Missouri. Our pleasure to have these folks with us today. Exhibitors, if I could have your attention, please. All animals in production classes are subject to ultrasound testing and milk sample testing. The testing is pursuant to Kentucky law, KRS 246, that deals with unethical practices used in regard to livestock and the criminal penalties involved. In order to maintain the integrity of honest exhibition and presentation of dairy animals, the North American International Livestock Exposition will continue the testing program at this year's show. In all cow classes, the first and second place cows will be required to be tested. Additionally, animals may be randomly selected within class for testing. Our show officials will present testing cards during the lineup to the entries to be tested. Please take your cow and the card to the examination area on the ramp at the back of the makeup area. If she will be shown in a championship class or a group class, then you may wait until after that class has been completed. However, if you need to tell, you need to tell the ultrasound clerk 
that you will be coming back after those classes or picture taking. All cows selected are to be examined before leaving the show ring and before they are milked out. Failure to follow these requirements will cause disqualification for all of the exhibitor's entries. Each breed association has a representative that will assist with escorting the cow and the leader to the examination area. In addition, each association has a designated person serving on the North American International Livestock Exposition Ethics Committee. Placing first in the summer junior two-year-old cow class in the Brown Swiss Show first is entry number five, Top Acres Famous Winner ETV, exhibited by Keith, Caroline, and Leanne Pel uh, and Tinsley Pelzer of South Carolina. That's Pelzer, South Carolina. Last name is Tinsley. Second place is entry number four, and the others are as they stand. That's GC Haven Shotgun Ember, exhibited by Ashton Giese of uh, Trumansburg, New York. We have two outstanding young cows here in the Brown Swiss Junior 2 class. It, a very close placing in my mind. We're going to pick them apart a little bit as they go out. But I'm giving the first best stutter on this first young cow as we get behind them. Just a little more width to that rear udder, a little more snugness at the top of the rear udder attachment today. Uh, she also has a little more fullness to that rear rib as you look behind them. But I particularly admire the way that she walks on her hind feet and legs. So much more strength to that pastern over this beautiful straight line cow coming out in second. I really love the mammary system on this second cow. Just not quite enough correctness through the feet and legs to move her up today. Congratulations. Placing first and first utter in a junior two-year-old cow class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number five, Cape May Latimer Heat or Heart, exhibited by Claire Gecki of West Liberty, Ohio. Second in the class and second utter. Entry number eight, Otter Mead Elise, exhibited by Bailey Bowen, Braylon Bowen, and Thomas Porter of Florence, Vermont. Really nice class, uh, Guernsey two-year-olds here. And the cow that wins this class just wins this class just in terms of her overall width and power and strength. A cow that's so much wider in her muzzle, she's wider in that chest floor, brings that back to a deeper, more bully sprung rib cage and back even further to a wider set of hips, pins, and thurls than the cow in second. In addition, our first place cow's got the advantage in under having more bloom and capacity or under and more height and width to the top of the rear quarters than her cow in second. Not the takeaway from this cow in second, I do give her the advantage of being a stylish, more individual cow that steps down on a stronger pasture than her first place cow. The cow in second over the cow in third just gets her advantage in frame. She blends so much smoother into neck to shoulder and shoulder to barrel. She's deeper in her heart. She's longer in that midsection body. In addition, she's more level in that rump structure, having more, uh, more desirable slope for her rump as well. Not the take away from this cow in third, I would just like to lengthen her up and give her more definition to that other cleft to get around the cow in second. Third over four, just a cow that's just got so much more bloom and capacity and height and width and uh, snugness to that four udder than her cow come out in fourth. Um, in addition, her cow in third has more width and power through that chest floor as well. Not the take away from this cow in fourth, uh, one that we just love the style and angularity she possesses. I just like to make her more deeper in her seam and fix her T placement to get her around the cows in front of her. But a really nice cow that's got a bright future. Please give those exhibitors a round of applause for the quality of animals they brought out for us. Placing third in the junior two-year-old cow class in the Guernsey Show is entry number seven, Naps Drone Trina, exhibited by Braden Oliver of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Fourth in the class, entry number three, exhibited by Chantel McGuire of Orlando, Kentucky. Congratulations.
We're pleased to have working on our Brown Swiss side, Kaylin Miller. Kaylin is the National Brown Swiss Youth Advisor. Pleased to have her helping today in our junior show. The North American International Livestock Exposition is proud to offer additional prize money to our grand and junior champion winners for all of our junior shows. For each breed, the grand champion of the junior show receives a $500 cash award. The North American is proud to offer this premium to provide more dollars to our junior shows. The North American is proud to offer another opportunity for our junior exhibitors this year. On Friday at 5 p.m., we will hold our Junior Exhibitors Dairy Supreme Champion Show. Juniors who had the winning breed junior champion will compete for a $500 cash award and banner plus the recognition of having the Supreme Champion Heifer. In addition, a reserve Supreme Champion Heifer will be picked and awarded $250. Juniors who had the winning breed grand champion will compete for a $2,000 cash award and banner plus the recognition of having had the supreme champion cow of the Junior Dairy Show here at the 2022 North American. In addition, the reserve supreme champion cow will be picked and awarded $500. It's a pleasure for the North American to provide this special opportunity to recognize the outstanding dairy cattle and the exhibitors that exhibit here. We hope you all plan to be here in Freedom Hall on Friday at approximately 5 p.m. for our Junior Supreme Show. Placing first and first utter in the junior two-year-old cow class in the Brown Swiss show is entry number six, Lock and Stretch Tilly, exhibited by Elena, Ava, and Audrey Lommers of Marysville, Ohio. Second, entry number eight, and that's second utter, Our Heart Fancy Brenda, exhibited by Eli Warner, or Elijah Warner of Granville, Ohio. Another great group of junior two-year-olds in the brown Swiss ring. The cow that we're starting the class with does so on her balance of frame. The straightness aligns the strength through the chest floor. What an amazing udder on this young cow. So much symmetry to the mammary system. We love how that rear udder climbs up and has so much uniform width at the top of the mammary system. Uh, she places over the second place cow because of that rear udder attachment, that depth of seam as we see in the back. But of what a frame on this second place cow. So much strength, so much quality about their hide. So much fullness to that rear rib. A beautiful young, young cow. And she places over the third place cow because of that advantage in frame and also an advantage in teat placement. Congratulations. Placing third in the junior two-year-old cow class in the Brown Swiss show is entry number seven. And that's exhibited by Ezra and Kena Jones, or Ezra Hadley, Hadley and Kena Jones of Edmonton, Kentucky. Congratulations. Junior three-year-old Guernsey cow should be in the makeup ring. Brown Swiss exhibitors, your cow classes are fairly small, so we would ask that you please bring them on over. It will help us expedite our show. Brown Swiss Junior three-year-olds to the makeup ring, please. Brown Swiss Junior three-year-olds to the makeup ring.
Brown Swiss entry 91, Brown Swiss entry 91 to the makeup ring, please. Placing first in the senior two-year-old cow class in the Junior Guernsey Show and second utters entry number nine, Mar Marado Patton Star, exhibited by Silas J. Kohler of Baltimore, Ohio. That was the second place. And first and first utter is entry number 11. That's Derriman Beaver, 4589 Nord AT, exhibited by Hobbs Lutz of Chester, South Carolina. A really nice class of senior two-year-olds here, and the cow that wins this class just wins this relatively handily for me from a cow that's just got so much more width and power and strength. And in addition, you get to the best part about this cow, and that's her udder. A cow that's got such a high, wide rear udder attachment and a forwarder that blends more smoothly into that body wall. And that's what she uses that advantage to get around the cow in second, the cow in second over the cow in third. Uh, I switched them at the end there, but a cow that just flexes more out of her hock, it's steps down on a shorter, stronger pasture. And in addition, when you evaluate the front ends on her second place cow compared to her third, she toes out less than that front feet, and she's even wider in that muzzle than the cow and um, than the cow and, and then the cow in third. Third over fourth, just a cow that just blends so much smoother in her neck to shoulder and shoulder barrels. She's more level from her hips to her pins, and a cow that just has a, a more length to her midsection or her body uh, than the cow coming out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just a cow that overwhelms her in terms of rudder. A cow that's got a higher, wider rear rudder attachment, more balance and symmetry to all four quarters, and just showing me a little bit more capacity to that udder today. Nothing taken away from the cow that rounds off this class, a cow that you just love the style and the depth and openness to her rib. I'd just like to see a little bit more blooming capacity that utter today to get around the cows in front of them, but a really nice class. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. Placing third in the senior two-year-old cow class in the junior jersey show is entry number 10. That's exhibited by Ellie Ledit or Ledit of Goshen, Indiana. Fourth in the class, number 12, shown by Michaela Hicks of Newcastle, Indiana. Fifth in the class was entry number 13, was exhibited by Morgan Berryman of Nicholasville, Kentucky. Congratulations.
Now showing junior three-year-olds on our Guernsey side, those senior three-year-old Guernsey cows should be in the makeup ring. Placing first in the senior two-year-old cow class, no junior Brown Swiss show, and first utter is entry number nine. That's Lockin' Richard Sassafras, exhibited by Ezra Hadley and Keena Jones of Edmonton, Kentucky. Second and second utter, entry number 10, Hilltop Acres, D.D. Jade, exhibited by Ryland Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Another outstanding group in the Brown Swiss ring, the cow that starts the class off wins the class based on a rear udder attachment. So much width and fullness and balance and, and uh, uniformity to that rear udder attachment. That's gonna carry her over the second place cow. The second place cow, she drops you dead in her tracks as you first take that first look at her. So much style about her frame, so much depth to that rib. But when you get behind her and see the unbalanced rear quarters, she falls into second pretty handily for me today. But she carries herself over the third place cow because of that width to the mammary system, that fullness about her rear rib. Congratulations. Placing third in the senior two-year-old cow class in the Junior Brown Swiss show is entry number 11. And that's exhibited by Tyler and Cassidy London of Central Kentucky. Congratulations.
placing first and second utter in the junior three-year-old cow class in the junior brown swiss show is entry number 91 that's top uh, top acres borden wizick uh, etv exhibited by kelly joe mannion of scottsville and second and first utter is number 13 the rainbow sweet violet etv exhibited by ashton geisey of trumansburg new york a really nice pair in this uh, junior three brown Swiss class. Both cows have had two calves. I'm starting with the cow that has just a little more, more style and balance about her front end. She's so clean about her head and neck. And you get down to that mammary system. It's a really nice mammary system. I'm giving the, uh, the best udder award to the second place cow. Uh, she had, the second place cow has just a little more height and width and a little more depth of seam over the first place cow. But the first place cow just has that style and cleanliness and refinement, especially down through the hock. She's cleaner, cleaner bone through the hock and walking on a stronger foot today. This second place cow, I really admire the strength and the width about her front end. I really admire that rear udder, that height and width, just not clean enough for me today to move her up in the first spot. Congratulations. Placing first in first utter in the junior three-year-old cow class in the junior Guernsey show is entry number 15, Hartsdale Fireworks Olive, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Second and second utter, entry number 17, Top View Lyman Rags Two Riches, exhibited by Aubrey, Aiden, and Lena Top of Bodkins, Ohio. A really nice trio of cows here in our junior three-year-old class. And the cow that wins this just wins this for being the most balanced cow in the class. She blends so much smoother into her neck to shoulder and shoulder to barrel in addition. She's just a sharper, more cleaner cow throughout. She's cleaner in that head and neck. She's sharper over the point of withers and tapers that down even further to a more refined hock. In addition, our first place cow just steps down on her shorter, stronger pasture than the cow in second. In the udder, our cow in first just got a higher and a wider rear udder attachment. I do admit the cow in second has more width to her front end and has less width in between the front teats than the cow in first. Second over third, it's a close placing, but a cow that's just got so much more width and power and strength throughout. She's wider in that muzzle, brings that back to a deeper, more boldly sprung rib cage, and then she brings that back even further to a wider set of hips, thirls, and pins. Nothing taken away from this young lady's cow in third, a, a cow that I just love her moderate size to her. Love the frame of this cow. I just like to see some more definition to her udder cleft and snug her up in that four udder attachment and get around the cows in front of her. And it is that overall style and balance in the cow in third to get over the cow in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just a cow that's just got more width and power through that front end, just more flex to her hock. But the cow that rounds out the class, a cow that you love the style, love the angularity, love how tall and long she is. I just like to see more of her today to get around the cow in front of her. But it really Really nice class. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. Placing third in the junior three-year-old cow class in the junior Guernsey show is entry number 18. That's Warwick Manor Fireman Scotch exhibited by Carly and Colby Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. Fourth in the class, entry number 19 shown by Gavin Oliver of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Placing fifth was entry number 16 was exhibited by Lindy and Elise Mercer uh, Bryant, Indiana. Congratulations. Guernsey exhibitors, all those first and second places in the previous classes should be in the makeup ring ready to show for intermediate champion. Brown Swiss entry 21. Brown Swiss entry 21 to the makeup ring, please.
Round Swiss entry 21, last call. If you're needing a makeup ring immediately, please. Placing first in the senior three-year-old cow cat class in the Junior Brown Swiss show and first utter is entry number 16, Empire Famous Lucy, exhibited by Ryland, Brayton, and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Second and second utter is entry number 14, Crow's Nest Famous Butterscotch, exhibited by Keith, Caroline, and Leanne, Sydney, and uh, Tinsley of Pelzer, South Carolina. Just two cows in the senior three-year-old class in the Brown Swiss ring, but what a, an incredible pair of cows. This cow that starts the class off with just outpowers the second place cow. So much more width and strength through that front end. Then you get back behind her and you see so much more width and fullness to that rear udder attachment. Cow with tremendous seam. Just a, a well-balanced, strong dairy cow. And she plays the, other, the second place cow. Just more correctness through that rump structure as we see a move about the ring and more depth of seam be, be in the rear rudder. Congratulations. Round Swiss aged cow should be in the makeup ring. Winning the four-year-old cow class in the Junior Brown Swiss show is entry number 18. That's Johan Carter Dartmouth, exhibited by Ryan Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Just a single entry in the four-year-old Brown Swiss class, but what a cow. Cow has so much power, so much strength about her, and yet sharp shouldered and a big rear udder behind her. Cow that can certainly handle a lot of competition. Congratulations.
Winning the five-year-old cow class and the junior brown Swiss show is entry number 24, Nearman's Formula Lacey, exhibited by Ryland Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Again, another single entry in the brown Swiss class, but another outstanding cow. A cow that re represents a lot of the brown Swiss breed, what we're breeding for, that dairy strength. Uh, what a beautiful mammary system. Congratulations. Ready now for the component merit cow in the brown Swiss show. Winning the component merit cow class in the Junior Brown Swiss Show, and best utter as well, is entry number 25, Fairdale Total Cali ET, exhibited by Emily Good of Liberty, Kentucky. Just a single entry in the Brown Swiss component class, but a cow that's 11 years old. She's had eight calves. What a phenomenal cow. A cow that has so much dairiness, so much fullness to that rear rib. She's sharp-shouldered. She's long-rumped. And what a beautiful mammary system for eight calves. Congratulations. Ready now to show for the senior champion female in our junior Brown Swiss show.
Placing first and first utter in the senior three-year-old cow class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 20, Hartdale Chief Cashmere, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. And second and second under is entry number 24, Dix Lee Kojak Don't Doubt Me ETV, exhibited by Haley Bukema and Lauren Wiesenell of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Well, uh, folks, please put your hands together for the quality of senior three-year-olds that these uh, young kids brought out for us today. A tremendous, tremendous class from our first place cow to the cow that rounds out the class. But the cow on first just wins this in terms of overall width and power and dairy strength. The cow that's so much wider in that front end. She's so much wider in that muzzle. And you just love that openness to her rib structure. In addition, our first place cow is just a sharper, more cleaner cow all the way through. She's cleaner in that head and neck. She's sharper over the point of withers, more in curving in the thigh than the cow in second. In addition, our first place cow has just got more height than width to the top of the rear udder. I do give the advantage of the cow in second to having more levelness to the udder floor and a four udder that blends a little bit more smoother into that body wall than the cow in first. Second over third, just a cow that's just got more length and width, or length from end to end. A cow that's so much longer in her neck, longer in that midsection and body, and longer from hips to pins. In addition, our for, or cow in second just blends better in that four rider attachment, has more teats that are plumbly square to the ground than the cow coming out in third. Third over fourth, a cow that just overwhelms her in width and power and strength. A cow that's wider in that front end, she's wider in that muzzle, she's wider in that hips to the pins. Nothing taken away from this tall cow coming out in fourth, a cow that you really like the the length from end to end, how tall she is, the point of withers. I just like to make her toe out less than the front feet and just make her blend better into her shoulder to get around the cows in front of her. Uh, but cows that kind of come out next, cows that you just love the balance, love the symmetry to their quarters, cows that got a bright future ahead of for these kids, please give them a round of applause one more time for the quality of animals they brought out for us today. Placing third in the senior three-year-old cow class is entry number 25, Dix Lee Latimer, Jokes on You, exhibited by Whitney Urena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. Fourth, entry number 23, exhibited by Landry Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. Placing fifth in the class was entry number 21, was exhibited by Carly and Colby Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. Eighth in the class is entry number 26, and exhibited by Gavin Oliver of Stillwater, uh, Oklahoma and I think I left out entry number six or placing six and that was exhibited by Ellie Lede of Delhi, Louisiana. Now showing for intermediate champion female in our Junior Brown or a Junior Guernsey show. Showing for senior champion over on the Brown Swiss side. Brown Swiss, Brown Swiss exhibitors, Brown Swiss exhibitors, we need your spring heifer calves to the makeup ring, please. Brown Swiss spring heifer calves to the makeup ring.
We need four-year-old Guernsey cows and aged cows to come to the makeup ring, please. Four-year-old and aged cows in the Guernsey show to the makeup ring. There are no five-year-olds. In the brown Swiss ring, we're first going to select our intermediate champion. I've pulled out three cows in contention for this award. We have the milking yearling, the junior two-year-old, and the senior three-year-old. I'll now go, now go select your intermediate, intermediate champion in reserve with reasons to follow. If you could bring that senior three-year-old ahead a few steps and give her some more recognition, just an incredible, incredible young cow. Cow has so much strength through that front end, so much dairy quality about her, and you get behind her and see that incredible rear udder attachment. Congratulations on her. And I'm going to follow her with the junior two-year-old, a cow that has so much style, so much cleanliness through their head and neck, so much correctness through that top line and rump, and then also an incredible mammary system. Congratulations. In the Guernsey ring, uh, I pulled out three animals in contention for intermediate, the, the junior show here, and um, not to take away from the cows, I left standing cows in their own right that are so stylish and balanced and combine that with great udders as well. Um, the cows I pulled out today is our first prize senior two and our first and second place senior threes. Cows that are so balanced, got tremendous udders and a great set of feet and legs. I'm going to turn off your mic, this mic, and I'm going to select your intermediate reserve and I'll mention that order and then get on the mic and give me my reasons why. That senior three class, uh, we talked quite a bit about their tremendous quality and I couldn't separate these two cows. Uh, we talked about it in class, why I put the first place cow over the second place cow, the first place, or the intermediate champion over our reserve, just in dairy strength. A cow that's got so much width and power and openness to a rib. A cow that's got so much style to go with it and that height and width to the rear udder. Nothing taken away from this cow, the reserve intermediate. I just like she has the advantage of just blending better into that four udder attachment, less reverse tilt to the udder floor than the cow, or intermediate cow. And then I will mention over our, our reserve over our arm, I'll mention just a cow that's got so much length to her frame. I also prefer that teeth size, shape, and placement, and definition of the udder cleft. Really nice three pairs of cows there. Give them exhibitors a round of applause for your intermediate reserve, and I will mention. Congratulations to the intermediate champion in the Junior Brown Swiss Show. Entry, or the 
the junior champion in the Brown Swift show. We're going to get it right. Intermediate champion in the junior Brown Swiss show is entry number 16, Empire Famous Lucy, exhibited by Ryan Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. And congratulations to the reserve, entry number 14, exhibited by Caroline Keith and Leanne of Pelzer, South Carolina. In the brown Swiss ring, we're now selecting the senior champion. If we draw our attention to the three impressive cows towards the back that are facing head to tail, we have the first place four-year-old, the first place five-year-old, and our winning component merit cow. I'll now select your senior and reserve in that order. Please bring that component merit cow. She'll be your senior champion today. Just a cow that's, she's right on the money right now. So much daringness, so much strength about her front end. Just an incredible rear udder for having eight calves. Giving her the advantage, especially cleanliness down through the hock over this four-year-old today. A four-year-old that I certainly admire a lot of things about. I love the strength through the front end. Love that width to the rear udder. But a cow that's just not clean enough, not sharp enough through that shoulder to compete with this component merit cow. Congratulations. Congratulations to the intermediate champion in the Junior Guernsey, Guernsey Show, entry number 20, that's Hartdale Chief Cashmere, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. And congratulations to the reserve intermediate champion, entry number 24, Dixley Kojak, Don't Doubt Me Out, ETV, exhibited by Haley Bukema and Lauren Wiesenel of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Congratulations to the senior champion in the Junior Brown Swiss Show, entry number 25. That is Fairdale Total Cali ET, exhibited by Emily Good of Liberty. And congratulations to the reserve senior champion, entry number 18, Joanna, uh, Johan Carter Dartmouth, exhibited by Ryland Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana.
In the brown Swiss ring, we're now selecting our grand champion. We have the two intermediate champions and it's followed by the two senior champions. And let's take a minute to put our hands together for this group of cows. We have four individuals out here, very incredible group. Uh, we've got cows that have been grand champions at different state fairs throughout this year, cows that have been uh, grand champion at a national show before. And we've all got them back here for the selection of grand champion here today for this junior show. Just a remarkable group, not to take anything away from the cows that are standing uh, over by the, the rail also. Incredible cow show today for the junior show. I'll now go ahead and select your grand champion in reserve. For your grand champion today, there's no doubt about it in my mind that this component merit cow is the cow today. So much style, so much cleanliness and dariness about her. Cow that moves so graceful about the ring. To follow her, it gets a little bit closer for me. I'm gonna go with the, the winning four-year-old cow, the cow that has so much uh, sharpness about that shoulder over the senior three-year-old, the cow that has so much more uh, width and power uh, through that rear rear at our attachment today, but an incredible group of cows. Congratulations. Congratulations to the grand champion of the 2022 North American International Livestock Exposition Junior Brown Swiss Show. That is your senior champion, entry number 25, Fairdale Total Cali ET, exhibited by Emily Good of Liberty. And congratulations to the reserve grand champion, which was the senior reserve champion, and that's entry number 18, Johan Carter Dartmouth, exhibited by Ryland, Brayton, and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Placing in the four-year-old cow class in the Junior Guernsey Show, first and first daughter is entry number 14, Spring Hill Lightning Cola, exhibited by Roy Lamb of Sullivan, Ohio. And second and second daughter, entry number 28, Walnut Ridge Jackpot Starlight, exhibited by Hobbs Lutz of Chester, South Carolina. Two really nice cows here in our four-year-old class, and, and the cow that go ahead and wins this class just wins this being the most widest and powerful cow throughout. She's wider in that chest floor, she's deeper in that fore and rear rib. In addition, she's just wider in them pins today. Not to take away from this cow in second, one that you just love the style and angularity. I just like to have less set to her hock and give her more flex to her hock. And just give her a notch more bloom to that rear udder to get around the cow in front of her. But two really nice four-year-olds can give those exhibitors a round of applause. Now showing age cows in our Guernsey show.
We need Brown Swiss entry 36. Brown Swiss entry 36, please, to the makeup ring. Placing first and first utter in the age cow class and is also the performance winner in the Guernsey show. Entry number 30, Spring Hill Cool Jack Uno ETV exhibited by Faith Ling and Ty and Ian Mader of Springfield, Missouri. And second and second utter, entry number 29, that's Hartdale Best Man Crimson exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Three really nice cows here. Uh, the cow in first just wins this. Uh, in terms of sharpness and angularity and height, and went to the top. The rear udder and a four udder that just blends more smoothly into the body wall. In addition, our first place cow just deeper in that heart today than the cow in second. You know, to take away from the cow in second, I do give her the advantage of being lower in the pins today and stronger in the loin than the cow in first. Uh, I'd just like to see a little bit more height than went to the top. The rear udder to the, compared to the cow in first. Second over third is in that advantage and with in power. A cow that's just so much wider in that muzzle, wider in that chest floor, just got so much depth and openness to her rib. And then you get to her udder, a cow that's just got a higher, wider, and more blooming capacity. Really like the length and femininity in our cow in third. I just like to see a notch more blooming capacity all the way through to get around the cows in front of them. But a tremendous class. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. Placing third in the age cow class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 31, exhibited by Michaela Hicks of Newcastle, Indiana. Congratulations.
Winning the Laugh Time Production Cow Class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 32. That's Hartdale Mitter Coconut, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Just one entry here in our component merit cow. A cow that can stand some competition. Really like the width and power and strength this cow possesses. A cow that's so tall and long and angular, and then you love that udder for how much milk's been pounded through this cow. A cow that stood the test of time. Congratulations on your first prize exhibit. Give him a round of applause for a really good component merit cow. Guernsey uh, Junior Show exhibitors, we need your junior heifers, junior calves. Bring, bring them to the makeup, please. Guernsey Junior calves, bring them to the makeup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, give these junior Guernsey exhibitors a round of applause. Uh, not a lot of numbers in our older cow classes, but tremendous quality. 
I decided uh, I'm just going to pull out all these cows because they're deserving of it. Uh, I pulled out our first and second place four-year-olds, our first and second place age cows, and our first time uh, component mare cow, cows that are so good in their own right, so balanced, so sharp and angular, and have their good, uh, good other qualities as well. I'm going to turn off the mic, and I'm going to congratulate your senior reserve, and I'm going to mention that order and give those exhibitors a round of applause when I do so. Senior champion today is going to go on our first prize age cow, a cow that I love the style and angularity to her, so sharp and clean. Uh, she uses that advantage just having more uh, balance and symmetry to her rear quarters and height than went to the top of the rear order compared to our reserve senior champion uh, on our second prize age cow. Uh, second prize age cow over a component merit cow, just the overall width and power and strength, a cow that just got a four under that blends more smoothly into the body wall and a cow that's just so balanced and on right. Nothing to take away from the honorable mention on her opponent, Mary Cow, a cow that stood the test of time. Got so much width and power and strength to her, a cow that you just love that other quality as well. Please give those exhibitors a round of applause for the quality they brought out for senior champion. Congratulations to the senior champion in the Junior Guernsey Show. That is entry number 30, the junior champion at Spring Hill, Kojak Juno ETV, exhibited by Faith Ling and Ty and Ian Mater of Springfield, Missouri. And the reserve is entry number 29. Hartdale Best Man Crimson, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. That first class of junior heifer calves in the Guernsey show should be in the makeup ring. Junior exhibitors, junior exhibitors, your showmanship contest will be held at the end of the show. That is the end of your breed show here today. Junior division, followed by intermediates and then seniors. Those junior competitors are 9, 10, and 11 years old. Intermediate division consists of 12, 13, and 14 and the senior division 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21.
Ladies and gentlemen, our shows here at the North American are live streamed, and you can go to Show Barn Flicks to look at those shows online. Placing first in the spring heifer calf class in the Brown Swiss show is entry number 37, Dublin Hills Tricks ETV, exhibited by Jacob Johns of Chapel Hill, Tennessee. And second, entry number 42, Bodell Stretch Harley, exhibited by Mariah Eichelberg of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. An outstanding group of spring calves to start the Brown Swiss heifer show, and a pair of calves at the top of the class that really sort themselves as we break the class down pair of calves that have tremendous balance and straightness all the way through. With this first calf, just a little more style about her head and neck, a little more cleanliness down through that rump structure and down through that thighs. What a great pair of calves. Second over third, just a little more strength through that front end, a little more width through that rump structure to go over this beautiful deep rib calf coming out in third. The third place calf, she really catches your eye the first time you see her with that depth of her body. But when you break her down and get behind her, just not quite the fullness and the openness of the rib is viewed from the rear as the two calves ahead of her. But she places over that fourth place calf because the angularity all the way through, the cleanliness about her head and neck. The fourth place heifer, a super well-balanced heifer, a heifer you really admire as she moves about the ring, but she just doesn't have that length of rump to move up in the class today. But a great heifer in her own right. She goes over to that fifth place calf because of that depth of body that she has, the advantage through that rear midsection. Uh, but the fifth place calf, a calf that I really admire the style as she moves about the ring, the straightness of the lines, and the cleanliness and the angularity she has. Congratulations on a great class.
Placing third in the Spring Heifer Calf Class in the Junior Brown Swiss Show is entry number 35, and that's exhibited by Caitlin Bell of Frederick, Maryland. Fourth in the class is entry number 31, shown by Madeline Top, Wapakoneta, Ohio. Placing fifth was entry number 41, and that was exhibited by Colt and Luke Buckley, Buckley and Maria Salzman of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Placing sixth, entry number 39, shown by Madeline and McKinley Branch of Mount Airy, North Carolina. Seventh in the class was entry number 43, was exhibited by Courtney Bell, Frederick, Maryland. Eighth place was entry number 30, exhibited by Caitlin Perry of Waddy, Kentucky. Placing ninth was entry 29, was exhibited by Jason Perillo of Viguita, New Mexico. Tenth in the class was entry number 27 and was shown by Hadley Jones, Edmonton, Kentucky. Congratulations. Brown Swiss winner heifer cave should be in the makeup ring. Guernsey Winter Heifer Caves, Guernsey Winter Heifer Caves, the makeup ring, please.
Placing first in the spring heifer calf class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 44, my own J.C. Elsie, exhibited by Ty Freed of Chinoa, Illinois. And second in the class, entry number 37, Tri Haven Drone Pilot, exhibited by Caitlin Lamb and of Elkhart, Indiana. Well, a tremendous class of March calves to start our heifer show out, and the one that wins this just wins this in terms of her length of frame and how balanced she is when she view her from the side, and then when you watch her walk around the ring, you just love the feet and legs. She flexes so well out of her hock and has so much width in between her hock, and combines that with so much width to her front end. Uh, she uses that advantage of just length of frame and being lower in the pins as well to get around the one and second. Second over third, just overall more calf today. She's so much wider in that chest floor, so much more deeper and open in that rib structure, and she's just a little bit more wider in those pins today than this one coming out in third. You want to make the argument that this one's the most balanced calf in the class, the one coming out in third? I wouldn't argue with you one bit. I'd just like to see more of this calf to get around the ones in front of her. And it is that balance and the quality of feet and legs to get her third place calf over the fourth. Fourth over fifth, just an overall frame. A calf that's just so much sharper and angular. A calf that's got so much more spring to her rib. Fourth over, or fifth over six, just a calf that's just so much more balanced. She blends so much smoother into neck to shoulder and shoulder to barrel. She's lower in those pins today and even stronger in that chine, but a tremendous class of calves. Give those exhibitors a round of applause for the quality of calves they brought out for us today. Placing third in the spring heifer calf class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 38, exhibited by Macy McLean of Salem, Ohio. Fourth in the class was 39, was exhibited by Landry Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. Placing fifth was 41, was exhibited by Ellie, Gemma, and Leah Jenkins of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Placing sixth, entry number 35, shown by Creighton Kohler, or Carrington Kohler of Baltimore, Ohio. That's Carrington Kohler of Baltimore, Ohio. Eighth in the class is enter, or seventh in the class is entry number 36 and is exhibited by Madison Davis, Dawson, Pennsylvania. Placing ninth, number 40, exhibited by Morgan Berryman, Nicholasville, Kentucky. Tenth in the class was entry number 34 and was exhibited by Callie and Mary Beth Collett and Emma Riker of Chucky, Tennessee. Congratulations.
Placing first in the winter heifer calf class in the Junior Brown Swiss show is entry number 47. That's Blessing CNJ Famous Neva, exhibited by Kaylee James of Walcott, Indiana. Second in the class is number 46, Blessing Garbo F. Patricia, shown by Brooke Foote of Dolgeville, New York. Beautiful class of winter calves in the brown Swiss ring. And a, a pair of calves at the top of the class that really sort themselves out for me today. A pair of calves that both have extreme balance, extreme dairy quality about them. I prefer the rump structure and the straightness of the top line on this first calf over the second calf. As you see the second calf and she moves about the ring, she can get those pins up a little bit. And that's something we're, we need to be aware of in the young calves. But it's the style and the balance and the fullness of the rib that carries her over the third place calf. The third place calf, a tremendous size calf, so much strength, so much depth of body, and that's what gets her into that spot today, but not enough fanciness to, to move her up in the, in the top two. She places over the fourth place calf, just so much more mass all the way through, so much more width through that front end over the super stylish calf coming out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just a little more uh, style about her head and neck, a little more fullness and depth of body uh, than the fifth place coming out next. Beautiful class of calves. Congratulations. Guernsey fall heifer calves to the makeup ring, please. Guernsey fall heifer calves to the makeup ring. Here are the remaining placings in the winter heifer calf class in the Junior Brown Swiss Show. Placing third was entry 54, and that was exhibited by Lily Hempfling of De De Delphus, Ohio. Placing fourth was entry number 55, and that was exhibited by Kenley Top, Botkins, Ohio. Fifth in the class was entry number 52, exhibited by Caitlin Bell of Frederick, Maryland. Placing sixth, entry 53, exhibited by Emily Good of Liberty, Kentucky. Placing seventh in the class was entry number 45 and was exhibited by Caleb Lips of Shelbyville, Kentucky. Eighth place was entry number 49 and was exhibited by Ryland, Brayton, and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Ninth in the class is entry number 15 and is exhibited by Blake Fernald of Farmington, Maine. Placing 10th was entry number 56, 56 place 10th, and was exhibited by Ashlyn Ripley McDogan of Wellsville, West Virginia. That's Wellsburg, West Virginia. Brown Swiss summer yearling heifers. Brown Swiss summer yearling heifers of the makeup ring, please.
Our North American dairy crew consists of the following. Superintendent Dan Grigson, retired UK Ag agent from Stanford, Kentucky. Assistant Superintendent Roger Sparrow, retired UK Extension District Director from Stamping Ground, Kentucky. Assistant Superintendent for Milk Sampling is Linda McClanahan, UK Ag agent from Mercer County. Testing booth coordinator is Chris Schalk, UK Ag agent from Barron, Barron County. Working our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Junior Show is Clerk Mike Phillips, retired UK Ag agent. Ring person Eunice Shalapi, retired Kentucky Department of Agriculture Dairy Specialist. Makeup ring, uh, makeup ring person is Jay Hetmansperger, UK Ag agent from Garrett County. In charge of ribbons is Stuart Gritton, retired Kentucky Department of Agriculture. And on our National Guernsey Show Junior Show side, David Adams is clerk. He's retired UK Extension District Director. And Brenda Strange, purebred dairy cattle breeder from uh, Scottsville. Our ring person is Susan Spinnamore, Kentucky Legislative Research Commission staff. Makeup ring person is Abby Pardue, Farm Credit Mid-America. Our thanks to these people for putting on our Junior Dare Show here at the 2022 North American.
Brown Swiss Summer Yearling Heifers should be in the makeup ring. Brown Swiss Summer Yearling Heifers, the makeup ring, please.
Placing first in the winter heifer calf class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 54, Twin County Tappies Trifex ETV, exhibited by Landry Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. And second, entry number 56, CGF Drone Unite ET, exhibited by Reagan and Reese Tompkins of Enos, or Enice, North Carolina. A really nice class of December calves, and the one that just wins this class wins this relatively handily for me. A calf that just is epitome of balance, a calf that blends so well under her neck to shoulder and shoulder to barrel, a calf that walks around on her tremendous set of feet and legs as well. She's also less slopey in that rump structure and just an overall more width to that chest floor than this calf come out in second. Second over third, it, it switched them in the final pull there, but the calf that just got so much more style when you put them in motion. She's cleaner in that head and neck. She's sharper over the point of withers, less patchy in those pins today. In addition, when we put the second one in motion, she just is lower in the pins today than the one coming out in third. Um, Third over fourth, just an overall width and power all the way through. She's wider in that chest floor, brings that back to a deeper, more boldly sprung rib cage, and back even further to a wider set of hips, pins, and thurls than the one coming out in fourth. Uh, fourth over fifth, just in terms of when you put this calf in motion, she has more flex to her hock. She hocks in less when you view her from the side. In addition, she just um, roaches that top a little bit more less today than this one coming out in, in fifth. Uh, fifth over six, just a calf that just has a tail head that pleases more neatly between the pin bones today. Uh, but a really, really nice class of winter calves. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. Placing third in the winter heifer calf class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 58, exhibited by Colton Kleibacher of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Fourth in the class, entry number 49, exhibited by Savannah Simrad and Luke Cates and Amity Jones of Crescent, Oklahoma. That's Amy Jones of Crescent, Oklahoma. Fifth in the class, entry number 47, shown by Carly and Colby Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. Sixth in the class was entry number 59 and was exhibited by Whitney Urena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. Seventh place, entry number 46, shown by Colton Sheldick, uh, Sheldrick of uh, Braden, Vermont. Placing eighth, entry number 55, shown by Bailey Bowen and Braylon Bowen of uh, Florence, Vermont. Ninth in the class is entry 52 and is exhibited by Hunter and Tyler Smith of Nicholasville, Kentucky. Tenth place, entry number 50, exhibited by Sarah and Renee Bach of Defiance, Ohio. Congratulations. Placing first in the Paul Heifer Calf class in the Junior Brown Swiss Show is entry number 68, NAP DD Challenge ETV, exhibited by Delenn Gehrig of Jerusalem, Ohio. Second in the class is entry number 59, Silver Leaf Rampage Pippa, exhibited by Morgan, Amelia, and Taylor Stone of Greenfield, Indiana. A tremendous class of fall calves in the brown Swiss ring. A lot of mix and matches of sizes and, and levels of quality and, and every different uh, kind of heifer you can have, I think. But the heifer that starts the class off does so because of her style, her balance, her cleanliness all the way through. A heifer that's just made just right, uh, just walks so right today. And they, so that style and that fullness to their rear rib that carries over the large, powerful heifer coming out in second. The second place heifer, I can imagine she won a lot of shows this year, just not enough cleanliness up through that head and neck to move over that first place heifer today. But it is that size and that length of frame, that tightness behind the shoulder that carries her over the beautiful dairy heifer coming out in third. The third place heifer, a tremendous rib structure on this heifer, so much fullness and spring and openness to that rib. I'd like to tie her up in the shoulder to move her up in the class today. But she goes over the fourth place heifer because of that quality, that style that she has all the way through. The fourth place heifer, an extremely well-balanced heifer, heifer that walks on a great set of feet and legs, just not the cleanliness up through that head and neck to move up in the class. Congratulations.
Placing third in the fall heifer calf class in the Junior Brown Swiss Show is entry number 60, exhibited by Zier Wy uh, Rosalie and Zier Wyatt of Pontiac, Illinois. Fourth in the class, entry number 63, exhibited by Caleb Lips of Shelbyville, Kentucky. Fifth in the class was entry number 65 and was exhibited by Lauren and Madison Hipsherman of Syracuse, Indiana. Placing six, entry 62, exhibited by Hayden Pike, Granville, Massachusetts. Seventh in the class is entry 57 and is exhibited by Jacob Johns, Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Placing eighth was number 61 and was shown by Carter and Addison Major of Lebanon, Tennessee. Ninth in the class was entry 67 and was exhibited by Carter Settles of Clayton, Indiana. Placing 10th was entry 66, exhibited by Ryland, Brayton, and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Congratulations. Brown Swiss entry 75 and 77. Brown Swiss entry 75, 77. To the makeup ring, please. Your class is going in the ring. Last call.
Guernsey entry number 80. Guernsey entry number 80 to the makeup ring, please. Placing first in the summer yearling heifer class in the Junior Brown Swiss Show is entry number 73, Brook Hall, a total hottie ET, uh, leased by Carissa Pittman and owned by Delbert and Heather Yoder of West Salem, Ohio. First, second place is entry number 76, and that's Meadow Hill Famous Bentley, exhibited by Carter Kleiber, or Keebler, Carter Keebler of Warren, Ohio. Great pair of heifers at the top of the summer yearling class, and a heifer that starts the class with her style, her balance, her overall correctness. It's the, rump, the advantage in the rump structure that carries her over the beautiful straight line heifer coming out in second. The second place heifer follows the same pattern as the first with that style, that dariness, that correctness through that front end. She has an advantage over the straightness of the top line over this cream colored heifer coming out in third. The third place heifer really strikes you as she that you get that first glance at her with that beautiful head and neck 
that extreme depth and openness to her rib. But when you get behind her and see that she kind of breaks in that loin, she kind of falls into that third place for me today. But she has that advantage of her length of frame, her size all the way through, that carries her over the beautiful straight line balance heifer coming out in fourth. The fourth place heifer, a heifer with no holes, heifer that re you really like the, the strength and the balance about her, but it's that the cleanliness that keeps her in this spot. She doesn't have that extra style for me to move her up in the class today. Congratulations. Placing third in the summer yearling heifer class, the Junior Brown Swiss Show is entry number 72, exhibited by Josh Fry of Butler, Pennsylvania. Placing fourth was entry 71, was exhibited by Caitlin Bell, Frederick, Maryland. Fifth place, entry number 74, exhibited by Cassandra Giebert of Walker, Indiana. Placing sixth was entry number 78 and was exhibited by Kylie Weaver of Goshen, Indiana. Seventh in the class was entry number 70, exhibited by Ryan Braden and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Congratulations. Placing first in the fall heifer calf class in the junior Guernsey show is entry number 71. That's Daybrew Poppy Bow, exhibited by Sutton Paulson of Rockford, Illinois. And second in the class is entry number 62, Twin County Pies Triple Threat, exhibited by Cale, Chase, Caden, and Caden Canyon of Dyersville, Iowa. Really nice class of calves, and the first place calf gets over the second one, just in overall feet and legs. Heifer that just got more flex to her hock and steps down her shorter, stronger pasture, and has more whiff to them front feet today than the one come out in second. In addition, our first place calf just got so much more whiff to that front end than the one in second as well. Second over third is in that overall depth and openness and spring to her form rear rib and being lower in the pins today to get the one over the third. Third over fourth, just a calf that handles her feet and legs better. She has more flex to her hock, hocks in less when you view her from the side than this big rib calf come out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, a calf that just got so much depth and openness and spring to her fore and rear rib to get around the one coming out in fifth. Fifth over six, a calf that just epitome of balance, a calf that's so balanced from the tip of her nose, from the tip of her tail. I'd just like to see some more depth and openness to her fore and rear rib to get around the calves in front of them, but a really nice class of uh, fall calves. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. 
Placing first in the spring yearling heifer class in the Junior Brown Swiss show was entry number 80, Sunny Day Wiz Lavender, exhibited by Carissa Joe, Lindy May, and Elise Mercer of Bryant, Indiana. And second in the class is number 81, Sweet P.W. Trust Me, exhibited by Ansley O'Brien of Wartrace, Tennessee. Just three in the Brown Swiss spring yearling class. Three heifers that have different things that I really like about them. This first place heifer just has so much more balance about her and correctness through that rump structure that takes her over the second place heifer. The second place heifer, I really like her from her hips forward. Uh, so much style, so much dairy strength about her. But when we get back through that rump structure, I'd like to change that rump to move her up in the first spot today. As she places over that fourth or third place heifer, just a little more fullness to that rear rib, a little more straightness over that loin. Congratulations. Placing third in the spring yearling heifer class in the Junior Brown Swiss show is entry number 79. That's exhibited by Rylan Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Congratulations. Placing third in the fall heifer calf class in the Junior Guernsey show is entry number 70. That's exhibited by Dakota Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. Fourth in the class is number 69, exhibited by Macy McLean, Salem, Ohio. Placing fifth was entry number 74, was exhibited by Hannah Hurst of Waynesville, Ohio. Sixth in the class was entry 65, shown by Clara Baker of, Scottsville, Pen of Scottsdale, Pennsylvania. Placing seventh, entry number 61, leased to Caitlin Lamb and owned by Heath and D of Elkhart, Indiana. Placing eighth was entry number 60, was exhibited by Dana and Madison Sickles of Marengo, Iowa. Ninth in the class was entry number 63 and was exhibited by Bailey Bowen, Braylon Bowen of Florence, Vermont. Placing 10th was entry 64 and was exhibited by Dixon Diesel or Diesel Dixon of Conway, Missouri. Congratulations.
Brown Swiss entry 87, Brown Swiss entry 87, to the makeup ring please. That's Grace and Elliot Call, Georgetown, Kentucky. Entry 87 to the makeup ring please. Guernsey uh, Junior Show with Exhibitors, we entry number 92 and 93 in the makeup, please. We need your animals in the makeup now. 92 and 93. Placing first in our Brown Swiss Junior Exhibitor uh, entry number 84, Edgeview D. Wrigley ETV, showed by Colt and Luke Buckley, 
Maria and Jack Salsman from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Second place, uh, entry number 83, Edgeview D. Delaney, ETV, also owned by and shown by Luke and Colt Buckley, a carrier and bratcher in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Congratulations. A great class of winter yearlings in the brown Swiss ring. A pair of heifers at the top of the class that went back and forth on a little bit. Two incredible heifers, a tremendous length of frame, dariness all the way through. I'm giving the advantage to the first place heifer, just a little cleaner up through that head and neck, just a little bit sharper there through that shoulder. The second place heifer, another extremely well-balanced, correct heifer, tremendous size and length from end to end. This is that length of frame and that depth of heart and chest to take her over the third place heifer. The third place heifer over the fourth, she's cleaner through that head and neck, she's longer through that neck and cleaner down through that hock. The fourth place heifer, you really admire the strength about her, the front end, the depth and body, just not clean enough to move up in the class today. Congratulations. Placing first in the summer yearling heifer class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 80. That's Clover Pratt's drone Lexi, exhibited by William Ramonovich of New Berlin, West uh, New York. Second in the class, entry number 84, Cape May Latimer Honey, exhibited by Savannah Thomas of West Liberty, Ohio. A great class of summer yearlings here. In the first place, heifer just wins this in terms of blending of parts. A heifer that's so much uh, blends so much smoother into that nectar shoulder and shoulder barrel. She's stronger in that chine. I also prefer the more width and power and strength this first place heifer is. Not, a, not the biggest heifer in the class, but one that's certainly well balanced her own right. Second over third, just an overall depth and openness and spring to her rib, and then you watch her walk around the ring. She has less set to her hock and more flex to her hock when you put her in motion. Third over fourth is a heifer that's just got so much less slope from hips to pins. A heifer that's so much longer in her midsection and body and longer from hips to pins than the one come out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just in sharpness and angularity. A heifer that's so much cleaner, head and neck, so much sharper over the point of withers, a less patchy in those pins today. Fifth over six, just a heifer that just got so much depth and openness and spring to her rib structure today. A really, really nice class of summer yearlings. Please give those exhibitors a round of applause. Placing third in the winter yearling heifer class, the Junior Brown Swiss Show is entry number 82, exhibited by Ryland, Brayton, and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Fourth in the class is 85, and is exhibited by Morgan, Amelia, and Taylor, and William M. Stone of Greenfield, Indiana. Fifth in the class is number 86, exhibited by Ansley O'Brien of Wartrace, Tennessee. Congratulations. Here are the remainder of the placings in the summer yearling heifer class in the Junior Guernsey Show. Third in the class was entry number 78, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of uh, Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Fourth place, entry number 76, shown by Lee and Clara Baker and Ashton Stiles of Scottsdale, or Scottsdale, Pennsylvania. Fifth in the class is number 79, exhibited by Roy Lamb, Sullivan, Ohio. Placing six was number 82 and was exhibited by Ellie, Gemma, and Leah Jenkins of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Seventh in the class, entry number 75, exhibited by Lee Baker of Scottsdale, Pennsylvania. Placing eighth, entry 77, exhibited by Cheyenne Anders of Dan Danville, Ohio. Placing ninth was entry number 83 and was exhibited, or was at least uh, from Brianna Sheldick of uh, Brandon, Vermont. Placing 10th was number 61, or that's number 81. Number 81 placed, placed 10th and was exhibited by Hannah Hurst and Kyle Polk of Waynesville, Ohio. Congratulations.
Those first and second place heifers in the previous classes in the Junior Brown Swiss Show should be in the makeup ring ready to show for Junior Champion. Placing first in a fall yearling heifer class in the Brown Swiss show is entry number 89, right way famous TikTok ET, exhibited by Landry and Dakota Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. Second, entry 87, that's Twinkle Hill CD Optima 1489, exhibited by Grace and Elliot Cole, Georgetown, Kentucky. Four great heifers in the Brown Swiss fall yearling class, the heifer that starts wins the class quite handily though. So much size, length of body, so much strength, dariness, all in one package. A great, great heifer in her own right. But she places over that second place heifer, just so much more frame all the way through. But the second place heifer follows the pattern of the first most closely. And she goes over the third place heifer. She's walking a little more comfortably on his hind legs, noting that the, the third place heifer is pretty sore in that left hock. But third place heifer, I really admire the length of frame, the stretch, and the quality all the way through. Not quite the correctness in the legs to move up in the class today. Congratulations. Brown Swiss entry 37, please, to the makeup ring. Your class is about ready to go in. We need all those first and seconds lined up in the makeup ring ready to go in. All first and seconds ready to show for junior champion. Placing third in the fall yearling heifer class in the junior Brown Swiss show is entry number 88, and that's exhibited by Rylan Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Fourth in the class is entry number 90 and is, is exhibited by Jacob Belton, and Savannah C. of Shelbyville, Tennessee. Congratulations.
Brown Swiss entry 81. Brown Swiss entry 81. Last call. Placing first in the spring yearling heifer class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 86, Twin County Pies Twilight ET, exhibited by Landry Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. And second in the class is entry number 95, Hartdale JCP Charisma, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Really nice class of spring yearlings. First place heifer gets over the second one just in terms of depth and openness and spring to her rib. She's got a lot more width and power through that chest floor as well. I do give advantage to our second place heifer and blending more smoothly into the neck to shoulder and shoulder barrel than our first place heifer. Second over third, just a heifer that's a sharper, cleaner heifer all the way through. She's less patchy in the pins, more in curving the thigh than the heifer coming out in third. Third over fourth, just her advantage in feet and legs. She toes out less in the front, feet has more flex and uh, with in between those hocks today compared to the one come out in fourth. In addition, our third place heifer is just lower in the pins today and stronger in the loin than the one come out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just in sharpness and angularity. A heifer that's so much cleaner in her head and neck, so much sharper over the point of withers, and also she's less patchy in those pins today. Fifth over six, just an overall width and power. She's wider in that muzzle. She's deeper in her fore and rear rib. In addition, she's just so much lower in those pin bone position than the one come out in six. A tremendous class of heifers. Give those exhibitors a round of applause for the quality of heifers they brought out for us. Placing third in the spring yearling heifer class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 94, and that's exhibited by Cassidy Jane Prince of Greenwich, New York. Fourth in the class is entry number 88, is exhibited by Kyle Bonavita of Mishop in Pennsylvania. Fifth in the class is entry number 92, exhibited by Austin Hickman and Savannah and Hudson Say of Shelbyville, Tennessee. Placing sixth was entry number 90, and was exhibited by Silas J. Kohler of Baltimore, Ohio. Seventh in the class is number 89, is exhibited by Hobbs Lutz of Chester, South Carolina. Placing eighth, Entry number 93, shown by Forrest Osborne of Milan, Indiana. Placing ninth was entry number 91 and was shown by Ellie Lede of Delhi, Louisiana. Tenth in the class is entry number 96, and that's shown by Hunter and Tyler Smith of Nicholasville, Kentucky. Congratulations. Guernsey Fall Yearlings to the Makeup Ring, please. Guernsey Fall Yearlings to the Makeup Ring.
In the brown Swiss ring, we're about to select our junior champion of this outstanding heifer show. Let's take a minute to give these kids a round of applause. We've had nothing but quality from top to bottom in every class. Certainly a, a great end to the show year. I've now pulled out your first prize winter calf, first prize summer yearling, first and second winter yearlings, and the first prize fall yearling. All these heifers are just tremendous examples of what we're looking to breed in the brown Swiss breed. Tremendous dairiness all the way through, clean heads, deep rib, correct in a rump structure. I'll now go out and select your junior champion, reserve and honorable mention. If you can pull these heifers ahead to give them extra recognition, this first prize fall yearling, just so much power and strength and depth and width all the way through, and yet she's dairy, she's clean through that neck for a heifer that's already two years old and she doesn't have to pick throat. Just a remarkable representation of the breed. And I'm going to follow her with this summer yearling, a heifer that has the same, the same pattern as far as dairy strength and straightness and correctness. Uh, honorable mention was on the, uh, the first prize winter yearling. Congratulations. Placing first in the winter yearling heifer class in the junior Guernsey show is entry number 101, Bach Indigo Tabby Tilly, exhibited by Renee and Sarah Bach of Defiance, Ohio. Second in the class, entry number 97, Hartdale S. Celebrity, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Really nice class of winning yearlings, and the one that wins this class just wins this. Uh, in terms of just sharpness and angularity, she's cleaner in that head and neck. She's sharper over the point of withers, a little bit more uh, refined through that thigh today. In addition, our first place half is just deeper and more open in that rib structure compared to the one come out in second. Second over third just has the advantage in rump structure, a half for that so much lower in the pins and less knobby in that tail head. In addition, I just prefer the feet and legs on our second place half for over the one and third. Third over fourth is just that overall depth and openness and spring to her rib. In addition, our third place heifer is just so much lower in her pins and less knobby in that tail head compared to the one come out in fourth. fourth uh, the fourth heifer, I really like how long and stylish this heifer is. I just like to make her stronger in that loin and level in that rump structure to get around the heifers in front of her. Tremendous class of winter yearlings. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. Placing third in the winter yearling heifer class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 100. That's exhibited by Silas J. Kohler of Baltimore, Ohio. Fourth in the class, entry number 99, exhibited by Emma Riker and Mary Beth and Callie Collett of Chucky, Tennessee. Congratulations. And congratulations to the junior champion of the 2022 North American International Livestock Exposition Junior Brown Swiss Show, entry number 89, Right Way Famous TikTok ET, exhibited by Landry and Dakota Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. And congratulations to the reserve junior champion, entry number 73, Brook Hall of Total Hottie ET, ex leased by Carissa Pittman and owned by Delbert and Heather Yoder of West Salem, Ohio. Congratulations to the best bred, best animal bred and owned in the Junior Brown Swiss Show. Entry number 24, Nearman's Formula Lacey, exhibited by Ryland, Brayton, and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana.
Guernsey exhibitors, Guernsey exhibitors, we need all your first and seconds from the previous classes to be ready to show for junior champion. Bring them to the makeup ring now, please. Ready for our junior showmanship in the Brown Swiss show. We need those junior division participants who are 9, 10, and 11 years old. Junior division, 9, 10, and 11 years old for our Brown Swiss showmanship. Guernsey entries 61 and 72, 61 and 72 to the makeup ring, please. Correction, 71 and 62, 71 and 62.
Placing first in the fall yearling heifer class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 104. That's Naps GP VG Epi Treasure ETV, exhibited by Lauren Wiesensell of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Placing second was entry 103, Weaver Crest Legend Disney, exhibited by Kylie Weaver of Goshen, Indiana. Really nice class of fall yearlings. The heifer in first just wins us in her sharpness and angularity. A heifer that's so much more refined about her head and neck. She's sharper over that point and withers, more in curving the thigh, and she even tapers that down to a more refined hock. In addition, I prefer her first place heifer, how she walks around the ring. She has more flex to her hock and less set to the hock when you view her from the side. Second over third, it's an extremely close placing for me, but the second heifer gets over the third just in terms of depth and openness and spring to her fore and rear rib. And in addition, our second place heifer just got so much more length from hips to pins and is less knobby in that tail head. I do give the advantage to the heifer in third, just having less coarseness to that hock and more flex to the hock when you put her in motion. Third over fourth, just a heifer that's got so much more depth and openness to her rib, and she's less knobby about the tail head and more levelness from her hips to her pins. Fourth over fifth, just a heifer that's more heifer. She's so much taller and longer through that midsection of that body. She's even got more length from hips to pins. In addition, she just got more cleanliness to that thigh today compared to this heifer come out in fourth or fifth. The heifer in fifth, I love the width and power and strength this heifer possesses. I just like to make her cleaner all the way through and lengthen her in that midsection of her body to get around the ones in front of her, but a tremendous class. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. Placing third in the fall yearling heifer class in the Junior Guernsey Show is entry number 106. That's exhibited by Kyle Polk of Waynesville, Ohio. Fourth in the class is number 105 and is shown by Amelia Eberhard of Mechanicsburg, Ohio. Fifth in the class, entry number 102, exhibited by Valerie Greenleaf of Lovettsville, Virginia. Congratulations. Ready now to show for junior champion in our junior Guernsey show. Showing for junior champion. Ready now for our showmanship in our Junior Brown Swiss show. If you'll bring those first class in, please, to Junior Showman competitors, come on in, please. That's those boy, or 9, 10, and 11-year-olds. Intermediate division showmanship competitors should be in the makeup ring.
Well, as these Junior Guernsey exhibitors uh, bring these heifers out for Junior Champion, please give them a round of applause for the tremendous quality of heifers they brought out for us today. In this heifer show, uh, I like heifers that are really well balanced. They don't got to be the biggest heifers. For me, they got to be balanced. They got to have depth and openness to a ribs. They got to combine that with a great set of feet and legs. And I pulled out five heifers that I, uh, that I think represent that bill and what I'm looking for. Our first prize March calf, our first prize winter calf, first prize summer yearling, and our first and second place spring yearlings. I'm going to turn the mic off. I'm going to congratulate your junior champion reserve, and I'm going to mention in that order. And when I do so, give those exhibitors a round of applause. Champion, junior champion today is going to go on our first prize winter calf, uh, a calf that I talked a lot about in class, a calf that's so balanced, tremendous set of feet and legs and such a beautiful rib structure and she uses that advantage and just being more level in that hips to pins and a more centrally located thorough to get over our summer yearling for reserve, summer yearling over our spring yearling just an overall width and power and strength. She's a little bit more wider and powerful through that front end and gives me more depth and openness and spring to rib today. Three tremendous efforts. Please Please give those exhibitors a round of applause and the kids that brought out those heifers for junior champion, please. Congratulations to the junior champion, the 2022 North American International Livestock Exposition. Entry number 54, Twin Country Tapis, Tappies Trifex ETV, exhibited by Landy Fraley. That's Landry Fraley of Muncie, Pennsylvania. And congratulations to the reserve junior champion, entry number 80, Clover Patch Drone Lexi, exhibited by William Romanovich of New Berlin, New York. We need the senior champion, Guernsey Cow, in the makeup ring, please get ready to show for grand. Senior champion, Guernsey Cow, to the makeup ring, please.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, while Judge Hill continues his deliberations on our showmanship division, I would advise you that the showmanship award is given in memory of Charles Volker, who was a longtime exhibitor here at the Southeastern National. His love for the brown Swiss breed and passion for showing was passed on through his children and his now his grandchildren. Here presenting the first place award for each division is his daughter, Katie Hill, and her husband, Darren Hill, along with their four children, Blake, Garrett, Avery, and Chase. Each division winner will be presented a calf jacket. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as Judge Cruz continues his deliberations on the selection of the grand champion, I would ask you to indulge us for a moment, please. Before we select our Guernsey grand champion, we would like to take a moment of silence in remembrance of Maggie Fix. Maggie was a 19-year-old Guernsey exhibitor who lost her life this past June the 1st with a battle with cancer. Please observe a moment of silence. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we finally reached that point in time where we select grand champion of today's show. And, and before I do so, I'd like to thank the North American and, and the National Guernsey Association for inviting me to come down here and sort today's show. But uh, uh, more importantly, work with these kids. Uh, to me, working with these kids is more important than any, any single cow or heifer uh, I sorted today because in my mind, these kids are our future in our dairy industry. And I think the National Guernsey Association should be extremely proud of themselves for the quality of kids that they have out here today. Furthermore, I think, uh, I think the North American and the Guernsey Association should deserve a big round of applause for the uh, quality of show they brought out for us today and these kids. So folks, at this time, please give the hands together for the Guernsey Association, the North American. Also, uh, I'd like to thank the, the parents, the fitters, the truckers, or to anybody who helped make it possible for these kids to exhibit, because what you just did is you taught these kids so many life skills and lessons that they're going to cherish the rest of their lives. Uh, I, I've had the opportunity to sort a lot of, a lot of cool shows this summer, and the common trend that I keep on seeing is that these kids are making the showing deal a priority in their lives. They'd rather go to the show on these green shavings and skip that football game, that basketball practice, or even that uh, class back in school to show their love and passion for this dairy industry, and it's all because of these people who help get them here because you burnt a love and passion inside of these kids that they're going to cherish the rest of their lives. 
My goal and dream in life is that every single kid across this nation has the opportunity to show dairy and livestock just once in their lives. Because what this program teaches these kids is how to work hard, be accountable, and how to work alongside others. So kids, when you get done showing today, I want you to thank every single person who helped get you here because they just taught you three core values in life that's going to get you extremely, extremely successful down the road. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's uh, probably the coolest feeling in the world is when this crowd gets into it and congratulate these kids. So what I want you to do now is I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to make a bunch of noise for all these kids in this ring and congratulate them and make as much noise as you can that every single kid back in those barns and these kids in this ring can hear you. So folks, at this time, make some noise while I go out and select your grand champion. Champion today is going to go on our, uh, our age cow, cow that you just love that mammary system. Cow that's got such a high wide mammary system. Cow that's not the biggest cow in the world, but you love that balance that she possesses and, the, and how much ring presence she has as well. Nothing taken away from our intermediate champion on our first prize senior three. A cow that you just, just has the straight definition of dairy strength. The cow that's so strong, so balanced. I just like to make her a little bit level on that other floor to get around her age cow. And then I will mention I went with our uh, second prize age cow, a cow that we talked a lot about in class, how well balanced she is, a uh, cow that walks around on a tremendous set of feet and legs. So grand champion, our first prize age cow, um, reserve on our intermediate champion, a reserve on our, and then I will mention on our reserve senior champion. Give those exhibitors a round of applause. Looking forward to showmanship. Congratulations to the junior champion of the 2020 North American International Livestock Exposition Junior Guernsey Show, entry number 30, Spring Hill Kojak Uno ETV, exhibited by Faith, Mater, Ty, and Ian Ling of Springfield, Missouri. Congratulations to the reserve, entry number 20, Hartdale Chief Cashmere, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. And congratulations to the junior division winner in the Brown Swiss Showmanship, that's Brookfoot of Dogleville, New York, second Addison Major of Lebanon, Tennessee, and third, Madeline Braden of Mount Airy, North Carolina. It's a great honor to be able to judge the showmanship classes today in memory of Charlie Velker. And what a group of young kids to start to show off in this junior division. These two young ladies to start to class off, just so much ring presence at a young age. They do such an amazing job of, of holding those calves' heads just right they're pulling throat the entire time, and they're moving about at the right pace. And it's, it's extremely close at the top of the class today. That I talk to them each in line about some different things that they can work on and, and think about as we go into the winter months and, and prepare for next year. But an outstanding group of young kids. Congratulations. Ready now for intermediate showmanship in our Brown Swiss show ring. Intermediate division consists of those youngsters 12, 13, and 14 years old. 12, 13, and 14 years old, intermediate division. Bring them in, please.
Congratulations to the best animal bred and known in the Junior Guernsey Show. That's entry number 20, Hartdale Chief Cashmere, exhibited by Braden and Connor Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Ready now for our Guernsey Showmanship. Junior division, please, 9, 10, and 11 year old. Junior Showmanship, Division One, Guernsey. Here are the requirements in the Junior Showmanship Contest in the Guernsey Show. The contest will consist of three classes, 12 years of age and under, 13 to 15 years of age, and 16 years of age and over as of January 1, 2022.
Here are the placings in the intermediate division of the Brown Swiss Showmanship. Placing third is Carter Keebler of Warren, Ohio. Second place, Brayton Hireman, Brownstown, Indiana. First place, Taylor Stone, Greenfield, Indiana. Congratulations. That's Brayton Nearman, Brownstown, Indiana. We've got another great group of kids in the intermediate uh, division for showmanship. A strong class all the way through. I talked to each of them individually in line and uh, just some things that they can work on in the future. But this group at the top of the class, I think they can show for me any day of the year. Just they have so much knowledge about the ring. They know what they want to change about their animals, uh, just how to present them in the best way possible. But congratulations on a great group. A uh, really nice class of junior showmen, and I place the top two, but um, from third on down, I don't uh, place them in any certain order. I like moving them around randomly in case uh, one, you know, does really, really good. I can move them into my top pair. Um, but these two young ladies that are going to go ahead and be first and second in this division, uh, they can come and show animals for me anytime. Uh, these individuals do a really good job staying poised, getting their animals set up as quickly and efficiently as possible, paying attention to me at all times. The lady in first gets over the lady in second. Uh, when we got around the ring, she just kept me a little bit more distance in between, uh, between, between the rail and so I can view the other side of that heifer. And then we come into line, uh, the young lady in, uh, that won the class just had those feet and legs set up a little bit quicker compared to the one that comes out in first, or that comes in second. Young lady in second, she's got a bright, bright future ahead of her. Our young lady does a tremendous job showing. i uh, just like to see her kind of get those feet and legs set underneath for a little bit quicker, a little bit more efficient, but two really nice showmen. Please give those kids that are exiting the ring a round of applause for the tremendous uh, job they've done today. Placing third in the junior showmanship division of the Junior Guernsey Show is entry 62, Chase Cannon of Dyersville, Iowa. Second, entry 56, Regan Tompkins of Enos or Ines, North Carolina. And first place, entry number 63, Bailey Bowen of Florence, Vermont. Congratulations.
Now showing the intermediate division in the Guernsey show. The intermediates are 13 to 15 years of age.
Great class of intermediate showmen. Uh, our first place uh, ex young man here, he, uh, he does a tremendous, tremendous job. Stays calm, cool, and collected. There isn't a bad, uh, bad time or a single time where this heifer looked bad when he was showing it. Had that heifer set up quickly and efficiently as possible. And that's just kind of what got him over the young lady in second, just in terms of how he set his front feet and, and her rear feet and legs on his heifer compared to this young lady with the cow. The cow is kind of not g giving this uh, young lady a good time out here, but she stays calm, cool, and collected the whole time uh, showing this cow. I'd just like to see her set up those a little bit quicker, a little bit more efficient for me. And then the young man in third, I told him he does a tremendous job showing, setting up his animal, knowing where I'm at at all times. I just like to see him when he gets in line. I like to see him kind of get a little bit back a little bit more. He tends to get a little too far forward when we pull him up in line. But a tremendous class of showmen. Please give these exhibitors another big round of applause. Placing third in the Intermediate Showmanship Division in the Junior Guernsey Show, number 87, Isaac DeBusk of Riceville, Tennessee. Second place, Lauren Weissensall of Cumberland, Wisconsin. And first, it's number 71, Sutton Paulson, Rockford, Illinois. Congratulations. Junior Asher exhibitors, Junior Asher exhibitors, your show will begin in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. You will be showing cows to start with, and you will show on your right as you enter Freedom Hall. 30 minutes to show time for Junior Asher exhibitors.
say congrats to Mr. Hill, and we're done over here. Our senior division placings in the Brown Swiss Junior Showmanship Competition. Third place, Madeline Top, Botkins, Ohio. Second place, Carissa Pittman, West Salem, Ohio. And first place is Morgan Stone, Greenfield, Indiana. Congratulations. As we're finishing up our Brown Swiss showmanship class, I'd like to take a second to thank the show management for having me down here. It's been a great experience judging this Brown Swiss show, and we're at the end of it, but what an outstanding senior division. These kids have worked hard all year. We've gotten to that point where they know exactly what's going on. They've put on a lot more miles through the ring than I can imagine this year, and I want to give them a lot of credit for, for sticking it out through a long show and, then, and still coming out through showmanship. But these two at the top of the class, I think they really sort themselves out. Uh, this young lady leading out first, I really give her an advantage over the entire class for standing out in front of the heifer. When you stand out in front of the heifer, you make the heifer look longer bodied. I really prefer that where just about everybody else was maybe more a little bit closer to the shoulder through the entire class. But give her a lot of credit for, for being different and doing that. Uh, but I give a lot of credit to everyone else for you know, making their animals look great and, and coming out and having a tremendous showmanship class, extremely comp competitive. Thank you. And our thanks and appreciation to Darren Hill of Cataraugus, New York, for judging our 2022 North American International Livestock Show Junior Brown Swiss. We'll see him right back here tomorrow for our Supreme Champion. And our